All right, guys, welcome to this page of the notes. What we're going to do here is continue with this idea of doing matrix addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. Again, please feel free to work ahead on these problems. Try them on your own. See how they go. Come on back. Check and see how you did. Uh, if you happen to get something different than me, then go ahead and uh, watch how I did it. See if we can find your mistake. Uh, but here we go. We're going to take a look at this one. They want me to find negative 3 times matrix A plus 6 times matrix B. So I'm going to be doing both scalar multiplication and addition all in the same problem. They gave me matrix A, they gave me matrix B. Here's what I would do. I'm going to go ahead and multiply matrix A, this guy right here, by a minus 3. Multiply matrix B, this guy right here, by a 6. Let's do both of those first. So here's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have a minus 3 which is going to be multiplied by a negative 1, a 2, a 3, a 0, a minus 1, and a 4. All right, well, let's see what we get. 3, negative 3 times a negative 1 would be a positive 3. Negative 3 times 0 would be 0. Negative 3 times 2 would be a minus 6. Negative 3 times a negative 1 would be a positive 3. That's going to get me a minus 9, and that's going to get me a minus 12. All right, so there's my new matrix. This is matrix A scaled by a negative 3. Then I need to do 6 times matrix B. 0, negative 4, 4, minus 3, 6, and 9. All right, let's see if I can squeeze that guy in over there. Um, here's what we've got. 6 times 0, I agree that's 0. 6 times a negative 3, how about a minus 18? Uh, 6 times a negative 4 should be a minus 24. And 6 times 6 should be 36. 6 times a positive 4, well now I have a positive 24. 6 times 4, 24. And 6 times 9 should be 54. There's my new matrix. This is matrix B scaled by a factor of 6. Now what they ask you to do is they ask you to add those matrices together. So minus 3A plus 6B. Well, so here's what they want you to do. They want you to do 3 minus 6 minus 9, 0, 3, and minus 12. They want you to add that to 0, 20, sorry, that's a negative 24, 24, negative 18, 36, and 54. I want you to add these guys together. Well, we know that we have to first figure out, before I do addition, I have to first make sure that it is defined, which means that the dimensions of the matrices must be the same. Well, this one is a 3 well, it's rows by columns, rows then columns. So I have a 3 by 2. This one is a 3 by 2. The dimensions are the same, and I can, I can add these guys together. So let's do that. 3 plus 0, 3. 0 plus a negative 18, minus 18. Negative 6 plus a minus 24 should be a minus 30. Uh, 3 plus 36, 39. Uh, let's keep going here. Minus 9 plus 24 should leave me with a positive 20. I'm sorry, po <laughs> positive 21. Positive 15. And a negative 12 plus 54 should leave me with a positive 42. And so what I have found is the matrix that is negative 3A plus 6B. This guy right here is my new matrix. Not bad. Again, break it up into littler pieces here like I did so that we don't get lost. There's no way that you'd be able to do all of this at the same time. Um, and we'll go ahead and try a couple more of these. All right, what I've got here is I've given you a couple of different matrices, matrix A, B, and C. And what I ask you to do in the first problem is add A and B together. Now, again, before I can add those matrices together, I first have to determine 
uh, that mo um, make sure that addition is um, defined. Can I add them together? Uh, in order to do that, I have to make sure that the dimensions are the same. So matrix A is a two by two. Matrix B is also a two by two. So yes, addition will be defined. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I need to do a 16 plus a minus four. I believe that's gonna be 12. I would have a two plus a negative one. Two plus negative one should be a positive one. Minus 9 plus a minus 3 should be a negative 12. And an 8 plus a negative 7 should be a positive 1. And there is my sum matrix A plus B. 12, 1, negative 12, positive 1. Let's keep going and try another one. I want you to do, uh, here actually, sorry, right there. I want you to do matrix B minus matrix C. Now, once again, in order to do subtraction, I have to first make sure that my matrices have the same dimensions. So let's go check and see. Well, matrix B is two by two. Matrix C is two by one. Those dimensions are not equal, not the same. B is two by two, C is two by one, and so it turns out for B minus C, Subtraction is undefined. You cannot do matrix subtraction B minus matrix C. All right, so again, just watch out for that. Please make sure that the matrices are the same. And the reason for that is simply this. If I were to subtract these matrices, what am I going to subtract from a minus 1? There's no corresponding element in matrix C. Same is true for the minus seven. Uh, minus seven minus, minus what? There's no corresponding element in matrix C to subtract from minus seven. And therefore, there's no way to do this B minus C. It's just simply undefined. Here we go, let's try something else. Oh, I want you to do B minus A. Let me go ahead and write it up here so that uh, we can see the matrices I have. So we're gonna do B minus A. Well, if I was able to do addition, I'm going to be able to do subtraction since the only qualifying thing is that they have to have the same dimensions. If I was able to add them, I, they've got to have the same dimensions. They're two by two. So we're going to do B, negative four, minus a 16 should give me minus 20. I am then going to do a negative one, minus two should give me minus three. I am then going to do a negative three minus a minus nine. I will add the opposite and you should get a plus six. And then I'm gonna do a minus seven minus eight, which means I'd have negative seven minus eight, which would be minus 15. So there we go, we found B minus A. Uh, again, this shouldn't come as any surprise whatsoever. Matrix A plus B is very different than matrix B minus A. We wouldn't expect them to be the same. They're not. You don't get the same result. This is a sum matrix. This is a different matrix, plus the fact we switched the order of the matrices in B minus A. Guys, that takes care of all of the uh, example problems from this set of notes. At this point, you should be very comfortable adding and subtracting matrices as well as doing scalar multiplication. We got a lot more interesting stuff to talk about when it comes to matrices. So thanks for joining me for these set of videos and I'll see you guys next time.